Okay, question five. So this is where things start to get fun. So, the point C has coordinates C2 and the point D has coordinates 6D. The line Y plus 4X equals 11 is the perpendicular bisector of CD. Find C and D. So, if this line is the perpendicular bisector of CD, then that tells us two things. The gradient of this line is perpendicular to the gradient of CD, and the line passes through the midpoint of CD. These two pieces of information are going to allow us to find two equations in terms of C and D, which will then be simultaneous, and then we will be able to solve them. So, let's first of all, let's define this line as L, and let's rearrange it a little bit. We're going to say line L is Y equals minus 4X add 11. Now we know, let's first of all play around with the gradients. So the gradient of L is minus 4. So that means the gradient of C, D is the negative reciprocal of minus 4. So it's positive 1 quarter. Now, we can find an expression for the gradient of C, D in terms of C and D. So, gradient of C, D, it's difference in Y, so D minus 2 over difference in X. So, over 6 minus C. Okay, now we know that that is equal to 1 quarter. So, if we multiply both sides by 4, then we get 4 lots of D minus 2. And we're also going to multiply both sides by 6 minus C. So we get 4 lots of D minus 2 is 6 minus C. Expanding on the left gives us 4D minus 8 is equal to 6 minus C. Now let's get the letters together on the left and the numbers on the right. So if we add C, we get C add 4 D and then we're going to add 8. So we get C add 4 D is equal to 14. And that is going to be one of our simultaneous equations. So let's clear this up and find the other one. Okay, next up then. So again we know L is the perpendicular, we've dealt with that bit, bisector. We haven't dealt with that bit. So, because it's the bisector of the line, it passes through the midpoint. So, L passes through midpoint. of C, D. So the midpoint coordinates, let's call it M, are the mean of the coordinates. So the X coordinate is C plus 6 over 2 
and the y coordinate is uh, 2 plus t or t plus 2 over 2. So what that means is on line L, so on L, we now know a point on the line, we know when x is c plus 6 over 2, y is equal to t plus 2 over 2. So, we're now going to substitute those values into the equation of the line. So the equation of our line, remember, is y equals minus 4x at 11. So we get that t plus 2 over 2 is equal to minus 4 times c plus 6 over 2. Um, add 11. Alright. Okay, so the algebraic terms are both being divided by 2. So let's multiply everything through by 2. So we get t plus 2 is equal to minus 4 lots of c plus 6, add 22. Let's expand those brackets. t plus 2 is minus 4c minus 24 add 22. Okay, so let's add 4c, so we get 4c add d. Now on the right, minus 24 add 22 is minus 2. Now we're going to subtract the 2 from the left hand side. So we're going to get 4c add d is equal to minus Four. So that is our second of the simultaneous equations. I'm going to clear it up and now we're going to solve them. Okay, so here are our two simultaneous equations in all their glory. Let's call the top one, one, and the bottom one, two. Now we need two equations with the same amount of the same letter. So I'm going to go for the D's here. So to turn the D in equation 2 into 4D we need to do 4 times equation 2. That's going to give us 16C add 4D is equal to minus 16. Let's call that guy equation 3. Right, so now equation uh, 1 and equation 3 have the same number of d. So we're now going to do, I'm going to do equation 3 minus equation one. So sixteen C minus one C fifteen C four D minus four D cancels out. Minus sixteen minus fourteen is minus thirty. So C is minus two. Now to find T substitute that value into one of the equations, 
So I'm going to go for equation 1. So we know that C add 4D is 14. So minus 2 add 4D is minus... No, it's not. Is positive 14. Add 2. 4D is 16. So D is 4. Lovely. What a question.